right. Uh, am I still not? Or am I not? I s am I on? Hello? It says I'm on. There I go. All right. So this is my last game of the night, which means I'm going to end on a losing night, which uh, is not the best when you're trying to do well. Uh, but I went, uh, I am, I am currently for the night, I think I got, uh, one, yeah, one, two, I'm, I got two wins or three, uh, one, two, three, four losses, two wins. So I go three and four, which isn't the greatest, but it's not the worst, especially when you you started by losing three in a row. Um, but to continue with the thought that I was, like, making, that game, I won that game. And, you know, if I were a competitive gamer, Um, it's really cool to win a game I'm pretty sure I should have lost you know it's pretty sure to win a game uh, you know where I'm sitting here with, with every disadvantage known to man and I still you know not only do I win but uh, I think I think I had 8 hooks in that game Pretty sure I did. That's what I put. Uh, I do review the games. I do count the hooks again when I'm, uh, I measure the time. But when, when you can play at a disadvantage and still come away with a win, how, how, uh, let me put it this way. It's easy to win when you bring a bill designed to win. To be clear, I still affirm I am the worst Wraith player ever. Just to make sure that I'm upfront about that. However, I think it's a better demonstration of skill to win when you put yourself in position to lose than it is to win when you're already in position to win. When you're sitting here bringing all the hardest stuff, doing all the hardest things, then you, you, you should win. Like you, you, you should come away with this win. But when you put yourself in a position to lose and you still win, then that's more interesting and more impressive. You know, uh, you know, like when I, I've seen some streamers, they'll do, uh, uh, so double digit prestiges, uh, make me uncomfortable. Anyway, when you, uh, you know, when you're playing this way, I honestly need to get to a place where I remember like, oh, uh, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to lose. I'm supposed to lose because I'm in position to lose. I, I, I have no gen slowdown, no nothing. I don't have, I'm not even picking the map. I'm, I'm not doing anything. All I'm doing is um, whatever I can with the killer I have. Uh, that does include camping and tunneling. Um, you know, if that Steve is, I, I don't know if he has saboteur or not, uh, if he has a toolbox. I don't know, I didn't check his build. Uh, but there, there, there's a permutation where they get those sabos and, and I'm really hurting. Um, but I should lose this game. I should lose every game because I'm, I'm playing, maybe I'm not, uh, a 5% wraith, but I'm certainly not a 0% wraith. So I'm playing pretty good survivors with a bad character for me. Like, I'm not affirming that Wraith is bad. I'm affirming I am bad with Wraith. So, you know, I should lose a lot. But I don't. Which, I still feel like proves that it's a killer-sided game. 
Oh, this is not a killer sided map. This is gonna be tough, folks. Last game of the night, and they, they're coming to work. Um, maybe one, two, three? This isn't the three gen I would want, but it's the three gen I deserve. Is it a fortune? It's a fortune, though. I mean, how do you say no to a fortune? And now, if I can come around here, see that guy? I want him to run toward my... Yes, run that way. Keep running that way. Yep, go that way. Now run that way. Wow. That was even better. Now again, you can, you can, if you come up to me like, oh man, that survivor is so terrible, you're playing bad survivors, I don't get to pick my opponents. I don't, I have no, no say over who my, who my opponents are. Wow. One. I don't want to lose this four gen. This four gen helps me in real important ways. There they go. Oh, hi. You're going to trade for me? Trading is better. Nope, you're not going to trade for me. He's going to throw down this pallet. He's going to crouch. Yeah. Okay, guy. Um... There's a hook right there. I don't know if that guy went to struggle or not, but I'm, I'm gaining momentum here. Okay, there's an unhook. And now they're in my side of the map, so I gotta... Was that? Oh, was that it? Oh, I got cooked. And now I'm now I'm now I'm messing around with myself. That's fine. Thank you please continue running in the mud. There's that. I need to get rid of the shack pallets, so I'm gonna have to entertain that. Yep. Good job, guy. Thank you. So now I can come off this. Did you really do that? Like, why? Are you are you just trying to? Keep me from uh, uh, my my three gen. If so that's genius. I better be careful. Oh, I better be careful. Is that my three gen? It was not. Okay, so what it was, was my fourth gen. Another pallet. Thank you. I needed that. Okay, but now... Okay, bar time is the thing. Got that? Uh, uh, 
Now again, they got a gen done right quick in a hurry. So they probably have some ability there. And I only have one hooks. He's the only guy I have dead on hook. that what do I do here man you guys are you guys are working me I gotta do something right two three oh he's not trying anymore now if they're smart they're on this one but they're not if they're on this one it's Oh, there they all are, too. No, lady. that so this is a one hook still she did the right thing though she took me out of the, the range with a fresh hook so I gotta get I don't even really care about this one but they're gonna There's the unhook. Yeah, but I don't actually care now. Oh, nice read that time. A little more patient. Not that patient. Not that patient. So... Uh, they put me in a spot where I got nervous for myself. But now I got another guy dead on hook. I got a 4-gen. Hi. They are... Got that. Uh, so I had to bait the dead hard uh, because I am very tired of getting dead hearted when, you know, and it's not dead hard's fault. Good. He's going to come over here to try to yellow this, right? Again, he kind of run. They're gonna fight to get. Got him, and I got the win. Uh, you might go and hook her, but this is Cheech. It's not Cheech. Are you really there? There's the unhook. Uh, 
I don't know where the other guy went. He didn't have a hook to give anyway, so. Did. Well, the first place you look is right. Nope. Listen for the hatch. Where'd he go? I found the hatch. Good for him. Good for him. But that's still a win. 50,000 points on that one game. Alright, so that was... Yep, that was a win. Three kills. Uh, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold on. Pretty sure that was nine, nine. Yeah, nine hooks. So I know I got her twice. I know I got uh, another guy twice. And then one, two, three. And then I'm pretty sure I got him twice. So three, six, seven, eight. Is it 10? I'm going to say nine. And I'll, I'll, I'll verify when I look at the stats. So there's nine. Uh, three kills. Uh, one gen left. Uh, one survivor escaped. Hatch. And that was, uh, cold, cold wind. Uh, so, you finish tonight three and four. One, two, three and four. So you're, you're one below 500, which isn't the best, you know. Uh, but you're only one game below 500 when you're putting yourself in position to lose by a million every game. Uh, the polarity is still there. Uh, so I've already I've already tied this one. I don't know if I get my third winning split or not. What's interesting is I got a lot of two win splits, uh, which communicates, you know, to me. It, it shows me things are going things are going a certain way for me. So uh, that has to be my last match. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be on again, folks. Uh, uh, I. I have no clue. So that, that, uh, uh, you know, we got the holiday season and, and I'm trying to be with my family. Uh, this was just a, a relatively good night to try to relax a little bit, try to have a little fun. And honestly, you know, when, when you put it in perspective, it was fun. Uh, the losses, losses are always frustrating, but hey man, I'm, I'm still doing all right in that regard. And uh, so I hope to see you guys uh, tomorrow. I wouldn't expect to see me on Friday at all. Uh, but I hope to see you guys. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Uh, do me a favor. Remember to tell your loved ones that you love them. Remember to spend time with them. Because uh, you don't really know. You don't really know how long you have with people. So uh, enjoy these times. Share these times. Spend them with people you love. Uh, spend them in love and truth. And uh, have a great time. And I'll see you when I see you.